Hey, what's up, it's Kiyoa, and welcome back to my Dauntless video. So in this video, we're gonna be checking out this new patch notes, which are 1.9.3 patch notes coming out on 3rd of March, 2022. And let's start with the new one. So yeah, before we go right into the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like. Also, a large portion of my viewers are not subscribed to the channel, so if you do, I do really appreciate it. So now let's get right into the patch notes. This is patch 1.9.3, and this has a lot of really good stuff. First of all, it's variant Behemoth Lightbound Koshai, which is the newest Behemoth coming to Dauntless. A kind of crystal and Koshai has been spotted in the Shattered Isles. Like the Chrono War, it paints time itself through the power of Radiant Aether. But where did this new behemoth come from, and why it's so interested in an array mining operation on Connor Rocks? Rumor has it that these behemoth parts can be used to craft a new kind of Omnisol. And uh, so, we're, so we're going our way to the next thing, it's new Omnisol, which is Artificer. And this is a Radiant Omnisol. So this now uh, completes the set of uh, uh, elemental Omnisols, I think. Uh, as I said, this uh, Koshai is really cool behemoth, and uh, when it comes out, I'm gonna do a behemoth breakdown, so you, you can uh, so you can study uh, this behemoth attacks and, and how to beat this behemoth. So yeah, now let's move on to the um, new Omnisol, which is Artisphere. The new, this new Artist for Omnisol enables you to channel the new mythical power of Radiant Aether and step into a true support role, armed with Crystallite Round that can perform a variety of actions. Once you unlock this Omnisol at Milestone 7 in the search path, use Brilliant Palms from the Lightbound Koshai to craft it. So yeah, the, uh, basically this Omnisol is like uh, the drone from uh, earlier updates, and yeah, this, this is real cool, and this is also the support Omnisol. So um, let's read into the active what its active uh, powers are. Send your drone to a target and have it perform one of four actions. So the first one is uh, Revival Slayer. Revive and give a Slayer the artist for hour for 15 seconds. Can only perform this revive once every 90 seconds. So uh, basically you send out your drone uh, to beat different things and it gives uh, them buffs or something like that. Second is Active Slayer. Cleanse the target Slayer of all status effects and grant them uh, the artist for hour for 15 seconds. Uh, next one is the Behemoth. Mark a Behemoth part to take 15% damage from all sources for 15 seconds. And lastly, it's Ground. Surround, it in, surround an area with a Radiant Wall for 15, for 15 seconds. The Radiant Wall blocks hostile projectiles and beams. And applies the uh, Artist per Hour to all Slayers within. And it's uh, cooldown is 20 seconds. And yeah, the Artist per Hour is the Slayers in the Hour restore 10 health per second. If the health, if, if the health, if the health is full, a second 10 health shield is granted every second, and health shields last for 25 seconds, and max is 400 shields. So, and lastly, uh, the passive is healing and shielding you, current is increased by 1 for every hundred, for, for every 150 life you have 1 granted. Okay, pretty cool Omnicell, quite uh, complicated, quite complicated, but uh, it's still really cool. Next up is Conundrum Rocks, uh, the Crystal Mine, uh, and this is the Conundrum Conund Rocks uh, Island Makeover. Conundrum Rocks has a new explorer cave system. When they already discovered this cavern of glitter and crystal, they sent a team to study and extract the mineral. What, what secrets will you uncover? Okay, next up is a Aetherwind, the, the new thing comes to Antlus. Only starts to discover powerful currents of invisible Aether. And he, needs, and he needs your help exploring this strange phenomenon. Take, take the skies with your, with your glider in a brand new island activity that taps into this Aetheric currents. Uh, find that, find Aetherwind's crystals and use the power of petrol keys to activate them. Once activated, they'll attune to that. Uh, They'll attain to uh, the radiant aether frequency, marking the currents with crystal rings. Fly through, fly through its shrink to earn reward. To get started, look for the only stars on Crowned Rocks, and master all six courses on Crowned Rocks and the Paradox Braids on maximum rewards. So this uh, new activity is going to be on Crowned Rocks and uh, Paradox Braids, which, which is pretty cool. Uh, next up is Hunt Pace, uh, Ritual Radiance, uh, ooh, and this uh, armor is pretty cool also. Uh, I think the, this you get from, like this helmet you get from level 1 and uh, also is from level 25 and this is uh, the last uh, armor set, for like for level 50. Okay, pretty cool. Uh, next is uh, new Dawn reward cache, Blinding Radiance. So yeah, this is the new reward cache, which are also really cool. Uh, I also really like the uh, swipers on this uh, reward cache particularly, and this one is really, really cool too. And yeah, that's for the reward cache. Uh, now let's go into balance. Uh, all later surge events are now three rounds, some were four. Round one is a solo behemoth fight, uh, round two is a fun away, round three is a dual behemoth fight. And generated new expanded behemoth pools for all th later surge events. Okay, next up is chain blades. Uh, the increased blade spin damage per hit from 65 to 85, which is a really uh, big buff. And the increased metal generation from the uh, last rating onslaught at att attacks from 10. Uh, 2, uh, 10, 10 times 2, 30, to 10, 
8 times 2, 220. Okay. Uh, next up is uh, Nature. Our original Nature's tail attacks now send shock waves that only travel in the direction the tail is facing during each slam. And this should prevent causes where Slayer dodges the tail attack only to be hit by the shock wave. Okay, a really cool uh, uh, like call to fly fix uh, for the Nature. Uh, next up is Kosha. Increasing the toughness of Shadow Clarks. Kosha is entered slightly since they don't go back like the, uh, like the regular. And Thorny Kosha is due. Uh, all Koshai tail attacks now have cleaner tails. Okay. Uh, all Koshai tail all, all Koshai tail attacks now have clearer tails. Okay. Uh, next up is Fauna. Sticks and spawns are much more shorter, do more damage up front, and no longer require a bottom and no and no longer require bottom mesh to escape. Okay, really cool. Uh, next up is Cold Life. Uh, swinging blades returns with some adjustments. Hold light hold light attack when you're not in the middle of another combo to perform swinging blades. Which is fancy way of sw saying swing your blades with a reckless abandon. Okay, so the swinging blades are returning, but uh, uh, this is not really, like really good uh, attack now. I've seen some footage and it's not really that, that good. Uh, gliders added, uh, added uh, now for the gliders, added three new expert hand nodes at milestone 9 and in the slayer's path. Each node reduces stamina cost of gliding. Okay, really good. Uh, made tools and dives more dynamic and responsive, and improved the glide collision system to prevent unexpected crushes. Okay, really good. Uh, now for the bug fixes, and I'm not go, I'm not gonna go into that, so you can check it out. I'm gonna leave it uh, in, I'm gonna leave the site in, in the description. So this uh, this was the patch 1.9.3 uh, for Dauntless. Uh, I'll also be doing some videos for the uh, new Behemoth, uh, the Omicel, and uh, also some uh, things on the uh, Condor Rocks, like uh, the Aether Wind challenges and stuff like that. So uh, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.